Hello guys, in this video, we will be talking about Enhanced Image Classification, Ultralytics Explorer API, and YOLO V8.1 Oriented Bounding Box Model. So these are the three new changes which are introduced by Ultralytics. So in this notebook, we will be going over how to install the dependencies, Enhanced Image Classification, Ultralytics Explorer, and the Oriented Bounding Box API. This tutorial is brought to you by Augmented AI. So here you can see that we will be using RoboFlow, Ultralytics, Ultralytics Explorer, and PY Arrow. Ultralytics use this for the Explorer API. So now once you have installed all of these together, then what we will do is we will import YOLO from Ultralytics, and we will use it on a bus image using the pre-trained weight called YOLO v 8 ncls.pt. So this is a pre-trained weight we will load it and run it on an image and get the enhanced image classification. So here you can see that these are the different confidence values of the different things that are detected here. Minibus has the highest confidence value, and this indeed is a minibus, as you can see here. And it's also written here that this is a minibus. So now we will be training our model from the dataset of RoboFlow of the dataset Banana Ripeness Classification. You can see the dataset here. So to download the dataset into your Colab notebook, you have to just click on that and show the download code and copy it from here and paste it here inside. So this will download you the dataset from RoboFlow on your local machine. And then here you can see the data location. We will be training it more and fine tuning it using this banana ripeness classification dataset. We will take the pre-trained model and train it using the dataset location for a few epochs at a certain batch size. We will run the image from the dataset on the trained model, and we will get the results. We can see the result here, and it is correctly identified it. Now we will be moving to the next part, which is the Ultralytics Explorer API. So here you can filter and search your dataset using SQL queries, vector similarity search, and semantic search. Over here, you can see the Explore APIs, which you can see. It has things like GUI Explorer, Similarity Search, and Plotting Similar Images, and you can even use the Natural Language Querying to query the images. There is a SQL Query, where you can use SQL to query the images and plot the results. You can even work with embeddings by creating the embeddings table. So here you can see, we have imported the Ultralytics Explorer from Ultralytics, then we have initialized it using the YOLO v8n.pt. Once the Explorer is initialized, then the Explorer is currently working on the COCO 128 dataset. Once it is initialized, we create the embeddings table, then we run the getSimilar function and pass it an image and get a similar image from the dataset. We have set the limit for 10 images. Here we can see that 10 images came from the dataset, which are similar to the images that we have passed. We can even get similar images by the index. The image in the first index will be used by similarity search to get similar images from the dataset. You can even plot similar images. Here you can see that similar objects are plotted here. Coming to the final part, we will be talking about the Oriented Bounding Boxes, OBB. Here we will be training our own Oriented Bounding Box model. For that, we use the dataset from RoboFlow called YOLO V8 OBB. You can see the dataset here. The dataset is of car dataset and the bounding boxes are oriented. As you can see here, we have the command that will download the dataset from RoboFlow in our local file directory. Then we will be loading the pre-trained YOLO v8 OBB model. So once that is loaded, then we will make some changes in the YAML file of the dataset so that we can make it work with the OBB format of the Ultralytics OBB model. So now we will be training the model, passing it the data.yml file, setting it for a few epochs, and running it with batch size 32. So here you can see the output. Once that is done, we will calculate the matrices based on the data.yaml file. So this will take the validation set of the data and will generate the model matrices. Once the matrices are given to us, then we will load the best model. The best.pt is stored here. We will be using it here and creating a trained model and passing it to the YAML file, which will give the test dataset and the model will run on that. Once that is done, then what we will do here is that we can even print the metrics and the map score of the model. We can also plot the confusion matrix. Now we will run the trained model on an input image and this is the confidence threshold and the image size. Once that is done, then you can see the output is shown here. After that, 
We can even upload the files from the local machine using Google Colab's files function. Then we can pass the uploaded file to the model and run it there. The output should be saved by using the save equals true. Once that is saved, then you can see here that here is the output which we have got from this Ultralytics-oriented bounding box model. So this was the tutorial bought to you by Augmented AI. We have put the Colab notebook and the links for the docs of the Enhanced Image Classification, Explorer API, and Oriented Bounding Box in the description of the video. If you have any queries, then feel free to reach out to me in the comments section of the video. Thank you.